What exactly is an AI agent? Most explanations out there are either way too technical for normal people to follow, or they skip over the stuff that actually matters for business. This video is made for people who use AI tools like ChatGPT every day, but are now ready to understand how AI agents can save you real time and money. We are going to build up from simple ideas you already know, then I'm going to share my screen and show you live how to start using AI agents with real business use cases that you can actually implement. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what AI agents are, how they work under the hood, and how to set them up to run parts of your business on autopilot so you can focus on the things that matter most. But really quick before I move on, if we haven't met yet, I'm Sean's clone, a licensed tax professional and marketing executive who personally researches and writes every script you see from me. And while Sean is helping people make and keep more of their hard earned money, I'm here to share his knowledge with you. Also, if you have a business and actually want to install any of the AI systems that we talk about today, then I have a special link in the description below to my personal favorite tool with pre-built AI agents, but more on that later. First, let's dive in with chapter one, understanding large language models. Before we can understand AI agents, we need to make sure we are all on the same page about the basics. So let me walk you through how the AI tools you already use actually work. Popular AI tools like ChatGPT and Google Gemini are built on something called large language models, or LLMs for short. Think of them like super smart assistants that can read and write text really well because they have been trained on massive amounts of information from the internet. Here's how they work at the most basic level. You, the human, give an input by typing something into the chat box. The AI looks at what you wrote and gives you an output based on everything it learned during its training. For example, if you ask ChatGPT to write a thank you note to a customer who just made their first purchase, your request is the input and the thank you note it writes back is the output. That note will probably sound more professional and thoughtful than what most of us would write on our own, which is why these tools have become so popular so quickly. But here is where things start to get tricky and where most people hit a wall. If you ask ChatGPT something like, what is my best selling product this month? You already know it cannot answer that question. The reason is pretty simple when you think about it. ChatGPT does not have access to your store or your sales numbers or anything specific to your business. It only knows what it learned during training, which is general information from the internet, not your private business data. This shows us two big limits of basic AI chat modes that are important to understand. First, they do not know private stuff like your sales numbers, your customer list, your internal files, or anything else that is specific to you and your business. Second, they just sit there and wait for you to ask them something because they are passive by nature. They react to your prompts, but they do not act on their own or go out and do things for you. Keep these two limitations in mind because we are about to build on them and show you how AI agents solve these problems as we move into chapter two, AI workflows explained. Now that you understand how basic AI chat tools work and their limitations, let me show you how we can make them more useful by adding what are called AI workflows. Imagine you told the AI a new rule that said, every time I ask about a customer order, first check my Shopify store and then answer me based on what you find. With this rule in place, when you ask, did Sarah's order ship yet? The AI will first go to your Shopify store, look up Sarah's order in the system, find the shipping status, and then tell you the answer. This is what we call an AI workflow, and it is a big step up from basic chat. You give the AI a set of steps to follow in a specific order. Step one, check Shopify. Step two, find the relevant order number. Step three, give me the answer based on what you found. The AI follows your instructions exactly as you set them up, which makes it much more useful for real business tasks. But here is the catch that trips a lot of people up when they first start using workflows. What if your next question is, what is Sarah's phone number so I can call her about the delay? The AI will fail at this task because the workflow does not specifically look up phone numbers. The AI will likely not react or give you an output that is based on order status and not customer information. And so this is the fundamental limit of AI workflows that you need to understand. They only follow the exact steps a human sets up ahead of time, and the human is still the decision maker in the process. The AI just does what it is told in the order you specified without any ability to adapt. Even if you add more steps to the workflow like sending emails, updating spreadsheets, or posting to social media, it is still just following your predetermined script. The AI is not deciding anything on its own and it cannot adapt when something unexpected happens, which brings me to chapter three. What makes AI agents different? But before I explain, I'm curious, do you use AI agents for business? Let me know in the comment section below. Now here's the most important thing you need to understand about AI agents. 
The agent is the decision maker instead of you telling it exactly what to do at every step. Let me break this down so it really makes sense. In a workflow, you tell the AI exactly what to do step by step and you design the whole path ahead of time before anything runs. But with an AI agent, you give the AI a goal or an outcome you want and it figures out how to reach that goal on its own using whatever tools and methods it thinks will work best. The AI reasons about the best approach to take, picks which tools to use from the options available, takes action based on its reasoning, and if something does not work the way it expected, it tries a different way instead of just stopping. Recently, OpenAI released ChatGPT Agent Mode and it changed the game for personal productivity in a big way. Instead of just chatting back and forth like before, ChatGPT can now actually take action on your behalf in the real world. It can browse websites, fill out forms, run code, and create documents like spreadsheets and slides, all while you watch it work step by step. For example, you could tell it to find hotels in Paris for your upcoming vacation, compare prices across different booking sites, filter the results by your preferences like free breakfast and a pool, and add the best options to a spreadsheet for you to review later. The agent opens websites on its own, clicks buttons, scrolls through pages, reads the information, and does all the boring repetitive work for you. It can even connect to your email, Google Drive, and calendar to pull in relevant information while it works on your tasks. But here is where things get tricky for businesses trying to use this technology for customer-facing work. First, there are strict message limits that run out fast. Plus, users only get 40 agent tasks per month, which is not very many when you think about daily business needs. Second, the agent requires your active supervision the entire time it is working. It cannot run in the background while you do other things, because if you close ChatGPT or your session ends for any reason, the task stops completely and you lose your progress. And my last major con is that basic tasks like sending one email can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes or even longer to complete, which is the opposite of a productive day. So while ChatGPT Agent Mode is genuinely amazing for personal productivity tasks and research, it is simply not built for running business operations, which brings me to chapter four, AI agents that work better for business. For the last year, I have been using pre-built AI agents from a software called High Level. High Level is an all-in-one platform built specifically for small businesses who want to consolidate their tools. It combines your CRM, marketing automation, website builder, funnel builder, appointment scheduling, and now AI agents all in one place. So everything works together seamlessly. The AI agents in high level are designed from day one to handle real business tasks without you lifting a finger or watching over them constantly. The biggest difference from ChatGPT agent mode and high level AI agents is that everything connects directly to all your business systems from the start. They plug right into your CRM where all your contacts and customer history live. They connect to your calendar for real-time availability. They connect to your phone numbers so they can actually answer and make calls. And they connect to your workflows so they can trigger follow-up actions automatically based on what happens in conversations. High Level gives you three main types of AI agents to power different parts of your business. First, you get voice AI agents that can answer incoming phone calls and even make outbound calls automatically. Second, you get conversation AI bots that handle text-based chats on your website, SMS, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram DM. Third, you get AI-powered workflow automations that trigger actions based on what happens in your business. All of these work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, with no message limits holding you back and no supervision required from you. I'm about to show you a couple of these AI agents in action, and if you wanna follow along, then click the first link in the description to get access to a free trial, plus a free one hour onboarding session with an AI expert when you use my link. That way you can set up and test out these AI agents for yourself before spending any money. All right, let's dive into the first agent in chapter five, how to set up a high level voice AI agent. Let me show you exactly how to set up a voice AI agent in high level so you can see how straightforward this process really is. This agent will answer phone calls automatically, greet customers professionally with your custom message, collect their information, and even book appointments on your calendar while you focus on other work or enjoy your time off. To get started, log into your high level account and navigate to settings in your sub account. From there, click on AI agents in the left side menu to access the AI features. Then click the blue create agent button in the top right corner of your screen to start building your first voice agent. Now you will fill in the agent details to customize how it works for your business. Give your agent a name that sounds professional, something like Sarah Virtual Receptionist or Customer Support Agent works great. Confirm your business name is correct in the system. 
pick a voice from the list of available options because high level offers multiple accents and tones to match your brand personality and you can preview each one by clicking the play button next to it then write your initial greeting message which is the first thing callers will hear when they call your number something like hello thank you for calling xyz company how can i help you today works perfectly to set a professional tone next you will set up the agent goals which tell the ai what information to collect and actions to take during calls you have two options here depending on how much customization you need basic mode is the easiest way to get started quickly because you just check boxes for what info you want the agent to collect from callers like their name email address phone number and reason for calling no complicated prompts or programming needed at all advanced mode gives you much more control over exactly how the agent behaves in different situations you can write custom instructions for the agent's personality and conversation style set up call transfers to send callers to a real person when certain conditions are met trigger workflows based on what happens during the call update contact fields in your crm automatically with the information collected and have the agent send sms messages during or right after the call ends after you save your agent configuration, go to the phone and availability tab to connect it to your phone system. Pick which phone numbers you want the agent to answer and you can assign one number or multiple numbers to the same agent. Set the business hours when the agent should take calls and you can also set up fallback rules for after hours like sending callers to voicemail or forwarding to another number. Finally, make sure to test your agent thoroughly using the built-in call widget before going live with real customers. Call the number yourself and have a full conversation to make sure everything works exactly the way you want it to. Chapter six, setting up outbound voice AI calling. High Level also gives you the ability to set up outbound calls where the AI agent proactively calls your contacts automatically without any manual effort. This is huge for appointment reminders, follow-up calls after someone fills out a form, reactivating old leads who went cold, and ongoing lead nurturing campaigns that would otherwise require a dedicated staff member. To set this up, you first need to register for outbound calling access since it requires approval. Navigate to AI agents, then voice AI, and click the enable outbound calls button to start the registration process. Once you are approved, you can add outbound AI calls to any workflow in your account. Go to the automation section in your sub account and either create a new workflow or open an existing one that you want to add calling capabilities to. Click the plus icon to add a new action and search for voice AI outbound call in the action list. Add it to your workflow wherever it makes sense in your automation sequence. High Level has built-in compliance features, so calls only happen between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. in the contact's time zone. Each number can receive one call per day and max four calls over two weeks. The system also checks for opt-in consent before every call, but these are all standard rules and regulations for cold calling anyway. That's it. You now have an AI voice agent who can answer and send calls automatically, literally replacing an entire phone receptionist. But it gets even better with chapter seven, building AI powered workflow automations. The real magic of high level happens when you combine AI agents with workflow automations to create complete automated systems that handle entire customer journeys. High Level lets you trigger automatic actions based on what your AI agents do in conversations and calls, which means you can build sophisticated follow-up sequences without any manual work. For example, after a voice AI call ends, you can automatically send the caller a follow-up SMS thanking them for calling and including a direct link to book an appointment online. You can update their contact record in your CRM with detailed notes from the call transcript so your team has full context. You can notify your sales team instantly with an email summary of what was discussed and whether the lead seems hot. You can move the contact to a different pipeline stage based on the outcome of the conversation. To set this up, open your workflow builder and add triggers for AI related events like voice AI call completed, conversation AI message received, appointment booked, or any other event you wanna to respond to. Then add all the actions you wanna happen automatically after that trigger fires. This approach lets you build entire contact nurturing systems that run completely on autopilot with zero daily involvement from you. Plus, you can even use AI to build the automations and workflows so now you don't have to sit and manually set up each step. It's magical and one of those things where you have to see it to believe it for yourself. And so if you wanna test this out for yourself, then go ahead and click the first link in the description below to get started with a free high level trial. And when you use my link, I have some special bonuses for you. First, you will get access to a free one hour onboarding call to get your AI agents set up fast, which means you can see if you wanna use these agents for your business before spending any money. 
Second, if you are looking for a big business idea for this year, you will also get access to my free AI business blueprint course that teaches you how to set up and sell these AI agents to other small businesses. Because last month, my marketing agency generated over $400,000 in revenue selling these kinds of services, and the opportunities for this year are massive. Coming up next, I have a video that breaks down how to start your own AI agency step by step. So check that out if you haven't already, and I'll see you over there.